So a good place to start would be to ask ourselves, why do we actually need a financial model? Well, a financial model helps us in three main areas. The first of which is as a forecasting tool. We can input a certain set of assumptions for the future, and we can use the model to determine how our business would fare under those economic conditions. The second use for a financial model is in actually understanding our business in great granularity and detail. One would actually need to fully itemize all of the cost and revenue drivers in order to construct a financial model. This is a very valuable exercise as it helps a business owner really understand the depth and all of the moving parts inherent to their business. And the final use for a financial model is it links all the pieces of the chain together. So in this instance, we have a mining company and they would need to extract the ore from the ground, process it, and then export it to their final customer. Now, the model would serve as a link for each of those separate links of the chain and it would help the business owner to identify potential inefficiencies and weaknesses in their business. So let's start with a cover page. Generally speaking, when you receive a model, it would have some sort of a color coding um, scheme to it. In this model, we have this dark, uh, sort of light pink uh, color for any hard-coded values that we'll see in our model going forward. Um, any cells that are blank, or shaded in white would be formulae, and any light blue shaded cells would be a result or would be pulled from other cells from other worksheets. So this is very useful um, in that it helps somebody who hasn't been uh, familiar with the model to easily navigate through the model and easily debug it if needs be. The next thing I want to touch on is some useful hotkeys that uh, you'll see me use. Um, generally, when you're modeling in Excel, it's very useful to use these hotkeys as they will speed up your work time or your workflow and they'll save you a great amount of time. So we'll just run through them quickly. Um, F2 is a hotkey that shows the formula in a cell. So for instance, if I have the formula equals one plus one, if I just select that cell, it just displays the result. But if I press F2, it displays the formula within that cell, okay? The next command is F4, the next hotkey is F4. And um, F4 just repeats the last uh, command that you uh, gave Excel. So if I wanted to make this cell bold and I wanted to make a subsequent cell bold, all I'd need to do is just press F4 and then it would repeat the previous step that I gave Excel. The next useful hotkey is F9. Uh, F9 is just um, if you've set your workbook to calculate only manually, then you'd need to press F9 every time you want the workbook to update. So this is very useful, especially if you're running long VBA scripts, which may take a long time to uh, calculate. And you don't want Excel to calculate a result every time you scroll down or you edit the contents of a cell. Um, maybe you just want to edit the entire workbook and then run the calculation right at the end. So what you'd need to do in order to get Excel to only um, calculate manually, you need to go to your formulas tab and you'd need to select manual. Now what this means is that every time you finish uh, editing a formula or typing in a formula in Excel, you would need to press F9 for that uh, Excel workbook to calculate all the formulae again, to refresh in other words. Um, so I'm just gonna set mine for automatic except data tables because I'm not gonna do any VBA scripts or some uh, complicated simulations or anything like that that could take up time. Control F, that's just the find command and you could find any text string by just typing it in there. Control left bracket and control right bracket. That's just to move back and forward a calculation step. So for instance, if this cell is equal to this cell plus 10, and I wanna know which cells this particular cell draws its results from, I press control and left bracket, and it takes me to where this cell feeds from. 
And uh, similarly, in the other way around, if I want to know which cells are dependent on the calculation result of this cell, then I press Control right bracket and it takes me to the next calculation step. However, this can get quite complex because some formulae uh, feed from two cells. So if I put in 77 and I say that this cell is equal to this one plus 10 plus the contents of that cell, it's then very difficult to navigate exactly which one cell um, is responsible for the result. And what you'll see is control left bracket will highlight both of them. Much in the same way, if I press control right bracket, okay, even though in a way these two, they might not be directly linked, but um, they're drawn to this one result, they'll both take me to this one result instead of this cell referencing all the other cells that are um, in a way indirectly dependent on it. So it's just something for you to bear in mind with this uh, control left bracket and right bracket. But it definitely makes debugging formulae a whole lot easier and a whole lot faster. Control N, that's just moving to the end of the worksheet. Um, F5, go to any cell. Uh, okay, F5 is just a quick navigation tool. So if I want to go to the cell A3, I just press F5, enter the coordinate that I want to go to, and it takes me there. Home goes to the leftmost cell in the current row. Control Home, beginning of the worksheet. Shift Space, select the entire row. Control Space, select the entire column. Um, control Shift Space, the entire worksheet. Um, I'm just going to skip to a very important one. I use these Control X, Control C. This is either to cut and paste uh, or copy and paste. And then what you can do is once you've copied the contents of a cell, um, let's say, for instance, I press Control c to copy that, and I want to paste, I'll use Alt-E-S, and then I can choose what I want to paste. I can either paste the value of that cell, which is just the number 89, and it does not have a formula, it's just the number, or instead, I could paste the actual formula, and then obviously that will reference separate um, cells because it's it's all relative in Excel. If I've moved a certain number of cells across and down, it will move the the same formula references, the same number of cells across and down. Um, so this is quite useful for copying and pasting either values or formula, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Inserting rows, deleting rows, it's the control control shift plus and control minus, and then filling right is control R. So that's just basic navigation hotkeys and basic uh, layouts of your schematic for your financial model.